Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Are you guys ready? I know why, Sharem. A couple of really cool things uh, come out today, two of which I would love to see in stores, but I don't think they will be out there. So if I don't see them out there in stores, I will have to order them online. And these two titles that I'm, I'm really, I really would, I really want is uh, Career Opportunities and uh, it's called Half Baked which are both coming out from Kino Lorbor uh, Entertainment right there. So those are like catalog titles that, you know, I really want to get up on. But some of the other stuff that's coming out today uh, is The Unholy uh, from Sony Home Entertainment. New, uh, you know, a horror flick uh, right there. And of course, along with uh, Nobody uh, from Universal and stuff, or just some of the titles uh, that are being released today. But if you guys love my hoarding up videos or like my hoarding up videos, please hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how your weekend was. What, what, what did you do? You guys watch any cool movies? You go out, do anything? Let me know down below in the comments. But right now, guys, let's head on out and see what we can find today. Let's go. Well, guys, over at my first destination of the day, the local Salvation Army, Let's head on in and see if they got any new movies, DVDs, or Blu-rays. Well, they do have this media section that's over here, guys. I think this is like the new arrivals. Uh, you know, when it comes to like the different DVDs and stuff. They have like a random season of the Cosby Show. Uh, what season is this? I think it matters. I have all of them already anyway. But uh, I still love the Cosby Show. I still love it. Even though I don't know, don't like uh, what he supposedly did. But, um, yeah. Let's see what we can find in the media section today. Hopefully something cool. Hopefully. Maybe something I can add to the collection. Or maybe something I can add to the, you know, obviously the eBay store. But, ooh, what's this? Oh, VeggieTales. I, th I, th I, th I was looking on the side, I thought, I thought it said Fraggle Rock. Or some shit, like the way the, letter the lettering was. That's what I thought it said. Oh, that's Mr. Nichols' favorite. He told me about this this past week. Ooh, okay. Married to the Mob. You don't come across this one that often. I may have to give this one a look up. I already have this one in my collection. But uh, yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer. Great, great movie if you've never seen it before. And these are the only Blu-rays I'm seeing over here, guys. It's like the the Hobbit uh, right here. You know, Avatar, which you see everywhere. Tran you know, Transformers. No, nothing super crazy. Uh, nothing super crazy uh, Blu-ray wise over here, as you guys can tell. You know, I'm just like stuff that you would see, you know, on a, on a regular basis over here. But hey, you never know unless you look. All right, all right, all right. We made it on over to Walmart. Let's head on in. Let's see what they got going on today. Of course, they have the Nobody uh, 4K 2796, the Blu-ray, and the DV Dizzle uh, right here from uh, Universal Home Entertainment. And uh, the other one that they have that uh, came out today that uh, I saw out on the website called the Paper T uh, Tigers. I believe this is being put up by Welgo USA, like a, you know, a martial art flick right there, obviously, from the cover. Looks, looks like it could be kind of cool, it says action-packed, a, a, a rare treat. Huh, is this one, I don't know if this is one of those ones that's, uh, yeah, English, English, English language, okay. Alright, there's a blue and a DVD of that one right there. And some of the other stuff that came out was uh, this movie called Fear, uh, the hunt, uh, we called Hunt of Hunters. Uh, right here for 9.96. This is I don't even know what company put this one out. New Era, uh, New Era Entertainment is uh, that company. And this right here, Umbrella Academy. I hear I heard a lot of people on YouTube talking about this. Uh, still I still haven't seen it yet. I, yeah, I think yeah, it's a Netflix original show, which I'll probably have to watch a, watch a couple episodes before I buy it. You know, kind of thing. But that that's, that's another one that came out today. I don't know if it's, I don't know if this one's getting a Blu-ray release or not. But uh, that's out. We also got a uh, new Natasha Henstridge. Uh, movie, you know, the lady from Species, uh, right here. Uh, that looks like that looks like it could be kind of, kind of a weird one to be honest. And a uh, new Christoph Waltz movie called uh, Georgetown, right here. Is this? Yeah, Paramount. Paramount Home Entertainment put out Georgetown. Ooh, is that a Net Benning? Yeah, Net Net Benning as well. And uh, we got the new William Defoe flick right here for 12.96. As I can tell. Everything else looks kind of the same, especially on that the big new release rack over there. There was only one or two, uh, you know, smaller, you know, the different titles up on there that wasn't up on there for, uh, from previous weeks. But uh, yeah, that's all I'm really seeing. That's standing, that's standing out to me right now. But like I said, the two things I really want to get up on: career opportunities and half baked. 
being released for the first time on Blu-ray. That's what I, that's, those are my two big titles that I would like to see this week. If not, I'll just buy that shit online. So I think the only stuff I'm going to be getting today at Walmart, some protein bars, and then getting out of here. Over at the next stop of the day, the Hope of the Valley Thrift Store. Let's head on in, see if we find anything cool this week. Coming up on the media section right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And maybe we'll come across something. But I hate how they stack these ones. How they stack these ones over here. So if I find something cool, and it's like at the bottom, it's all going to come toppling down. Lawsuit time. Ooh, do I see something in here? What do I see? I thought I saw something cool at the bottom of this stack. Uh, right here. Titanic, always. Are the cops here? I think the cops are here. I think the cops are after me. But I don't care. See, this is what I saw. Yeah. But it's probably going to be scratched. But I'm going to check anyway. I have I already have the Blu-ray of this. But this may this may be worth a pickup. This may be worth a pickup. What else do they got up here? They got some History Channel stuff over here. Blue Planet. Stephen Hawking Universe. $2.99. Uh, let's see what else. It doesn't look like there's like a shit ton of Blu-rays. There's like old blockbuster cases of, uh, you know, Hitchcock, uh, Hancock. Hancock right there. What is this? I think I'm going to be passing on Monster Squad uh, today. It only sells for about eight bucks. If I had the Blu-ray, that would be a little bit of a different story. But like I said, like all these ones are like just stacked up over here. Might as well go through a little bit and see what they got. Like, it, it just makes it really inconvenient for, like, the, the customers in here to try to look for things, you know? And I believe if this one, the monkey bone, was on Blu-ray, if you guys see this one, the Blu-ray out in the wild, that, that goes for decent money as well. I believe, I believe the, the blue. I think it's only the Blu-ray that goes, that goes for some, you know, decent cash out there. Kind of disappointed in what I'm seeing over here. Over at the next destination of the day, Goodwill, baby! I'm just taking a look and seeing what kind of stuff they got, if anything new at all. And, uh... Hopefully I see something dope. Uh, this 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 stood out to me uh, when I first got in here. Sliders, the complete second season, only because of like the the unique packaging of it. You can see the discs and stuff out there. And I was like poking out like that. Uh, I I don't think I've ever had the seasons like that before. But they also have like you know, copy of uh, Ginger Snaps Back. The disc is scratched up and it's not really worth much. But this movie was kind of cool. If you guys have never seen the Ginger Snaps. And this one right here, the arena. I, I think I may be getting this one to add, to add to my eBay store. It sells for like 18 bucks or so. This one looks kind of cool. There's no scratches on this one, so this one right here, I may, I may be picking up. I may be picking up. What else have they got in here? What's in there? Oh, just some video games and things like that. What's this? Roswell, with no outer, no outer case when it comes to a season. That, that's okay. That's okay. Let me see. Yeah, if, I, if I get anything else, I'll definitely let you guys know. But I'm going to be digging, digging through here and hoping for the best. And at my last stop of the day, the good old Best Buy. Let's head on in, see what they got. Uh, looks like a lot of the same stuff for, you know, from previous weeks right here. They do have that uh, anything uh, for Jackson right here, the Shutter original film. I, I believe this was this week. It could have been last uh, if I'm not mistaken, and they had this one at Walmart too, the uh, SAS Red Notice. Uh, don't know exactly what this is or really have any interest in it. I know I see um, Andy Serkis in there. He's kind of cool. But other than that, on the new release rack, I'm not seeing anything over here. Oh, they, they do have that William Dafoe flick and uh, Paper Tigers. Uh, Paper Tigers on Blu-ray. If you guys watch this one or get it this week, hit me up in the comments and down below and let me know. Is it worth getting? Is the action sequencing good? You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm kind of a cheap ass. I'm kind of a cheap ass. I would like to know, you know what, what, what you guys all think about it first down below if any of you guys end up picking it up or anything. And uh, what do we have at the new release rack? The only thing I see on the new release rack that's different over here this week is, of course, the Unholy. Uh, put out by uh, Sony Entertainment and it's produced by Sam Raimi who you know who did of course the Evil Dead flicks and stuff uh, I, I, I watched this movie the other day and uh, I you know what I'll talk about it at the end of the video in the review portion so stay tuned to the end of this video uh, for a review of that and maybe another another flick or two and of course they have the Nobody uh, uh, Blu-ray and 4k 
over here. There's no really a big ex exclusives for that one or anything like that. But this is that the new uh, DC animated one that came out, uh, Batman: The Long Halloween Part One. Um, I have a, I, I really don't get into these ones. I know a lot of people do, and that's why they keep making them. But uh, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're just not my, my my cup of tea. But that's another one that came out today. But other than that, not seeing career opportunities or or half baked. So. I have a feeling I'm going to be having to buy those ones online. It's getting out of Best Buy right now. Didn't get anything up in there today. But I did get some stuff at Goodwill. So uh, let's go on home and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, everybody. I'm back home now. About to show you guys what I picked up today. And also do a couple of movie reviews on three different titles uh, that I got in recently uh, to talk about from different companies I, uh, I work with when it comes to reviewing and talking about their product on my videos. Uh, but the stuff I picked up today... Uh, was all at the Goodwill, and uh, the first thing I picked up in the store was uh, the Arena, which I showed you guys. It was two ninety nine, and uh, it was like old old uh, movie put up by uh, you know made by Roger Corman, you know produced by Roger Corman. Uh, the DVD came out back in two thousand and one. It just looked kind of unique, and it has that little logo on it on the side that I always recognize from like uh, the Donald Dragon Wilson movies that came out from back in the day, like the Blood Fist ones. I'm like, oh okay. I always love that kind of cheese, so I picked up Arena uh, right here. And uh, as I was uh, going to the good, you know, coming out of the Goodwill, uh, there was this guy uh, bringing in boxes of, uh, of DVDs to donate to the Goodwill. And uh, he knew me from the videos and stuff like that. He's like, hey, wet movie one, come here, dude. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't film it, I wasn't going like, to put him on, you know, on video and stuff. And I ended up getting three things uh, from him. Most of the, most of the stuff that he had uh, were like you know, Disney titles, like you know stuff that uh, people are trying to get rid of, you know, because of Disney Plus and stuff. But I did pick up three titles from the two boxes that he was bringing in to donate uh, to the Goodwill. And uh, you know, thanks to him, he's like, hey, he, you know, he's like, hey, come on over here, man. I'm, I'm donating some stuff. Check out what I got. And uh, I ended up getting um, uh, it was called Radio Lad Murders. The only reason I grabbed this one is because it had, you know, what's it called, um, all these different cool people in it, like, you know, um, uh, of course, Christopher Lloyd, Ned Beatty, uh, Bobcat Goldthwait in it, is, uh, put up by Universal, and I don't think I've ever seen it before, and I, I like all the character actors that are in, in that are in this one, so I, I grabbed that one from him, I also grabbed, uh, Back to the Future Trilogy on DVD, which, you know, I most likely will, uh, maybe put in a mystery, uh, bundle, uh, one day if I ever do the DVD mystery bundles again and or maybe my eBay store really really depending and I uh, ended up picking up this one right here uh, Interstate 66 uh, Here on the or Interstate 60. Sorry uh, on DVD uh, This one I know goes for a, a decent amount online uh, I told them I told them you can probably sell it on eBay get like 15 to 20 bucks for it And he's just like yeah, don't worry man. You just take it and this one has Christopher Lloyd on it as well so I'm just like, dude, I'll grab it. I don't think I've seen it before, so I might have to. I might check it out, and if it's cool, I'll keep it. If you know, if I don't like it or whatever, I'm, I might put it up on put it up on my eBay store. Uh, but that's all I really picked up today uh, out there in the wild. Well, guys, now onto the review portion here. Uh, the first movie I have was from Sony and Screen Gems, and that is The Unholy. Uh, that was released today, starring Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who we all know from The Walking Dead. Uh, this movie is about this young girl who's hearing impaired. And uh, one day gets, you know, uh, visited by this, like, demon or ghost uh, in, this, in this small town. And Jeffrey Dean Morgan uh, one day comes across her staring at this tree talking to herself. And, uh, you know, but he doesn't know that she's hearing impaired. The people in the small town, you know, or, you know, know that she's, you know, deaf and stuff. And, and never talked a day in her life. And um, she's, get, she's, she's pretty much getting visited by this spirit or demon or whatever it may be and uh now she's she can you know she can you know hear and talk and everything like that and she's like now curing people of different you know air, you know air, you know diseases or uh, ailments that they have like if there's like, like there's this little boy in this town that can't walk and she says do you believe do you believe and the little boy in the family goes yes and then all of a sudden this little boy can walk and uh, it's just pretty much Jeffrey Dean Morgan's character who plays a, who plays a traveling reporter covering the story, trying to figure out what is really going on, uh, you know, in this small town and with this young lady. Uh, it, it was it was kind of okay. It, to me, it was kind of like a, one of those, um, you know, kind of generic, you know, sp spooky kind of movies. Nothing nothing too 
nothing nothing to nothing nothing to write home about i don't think i see myself really you know watching this one again uh like some of the special effects were kind of just like okay you know what i mean like all right kind of you know kind of hokey like like if you see this right here that's kind of what you get a little bit but um if you're if you're into like you know like a little spooky movie and you like to like you know check out something for fun you know one time it's, it's one of those kind of movies uh here acting was decent pacing was was uh was pretty decent it was just not very scary to me uh it's, yeah, it's pg-13 so maybe that's why but uh yeah that's, that's the unholy here uh not the best horror movie on the planet it was d released during the pandemic i believe did on you know uh, digital platforms first and um yeah, it, it, I I can't I really can't say I I loved it or anything, but I, I can't say I hated it either. Uh, but next up over here, I got from a uh, Universal Home Entertainment, and I saw this one with Fluffy Gamer and the OGP uh, in uh, Las Vegas, and that is the the Nobody uh, here, starring Bob Odenkirk and uh, of course uh, Christopher Lloyd, and uh, it's about his about uh, Bob Odenkirk's character who you know just keeps living his day you know his days like his every single day of his life is the same he wakes up he makes coffee he you know makes breakfast for himself with his family he goes to work he punches in he punches out he goes home and then he, he you know his life is just kind of repetitive and boring as shit and so you know one day uh some of these people break into his house and steal his daughter's like bracelet or bracelet or necklace or whatever it is and it's pretty much him just you know pretty much saying okay i'm done Fuck everybody! I, I I'm not sitting back to be you know let, letting this stuff happen, and uh, you know pretty much getting in deeper into what's going on in this in this little town that he's in, and uh, dude, but I'm not gonna lie, uh, this movie was kind of badass. But the, my my favorite part of this flick is everything that Christopher Lloyd does. Every single scene Christopher Lloyd's in in this movie, he steals the show. He's just a, a complete and utter badass if you can see the picture on the back here he's like you know has a gun and like kicking ass and taking names that's the kind of christopher lord you get in this movie you know what i'm saying like it's so it, he's so badass i i'm like i can't i can't lie but uh yeah if you guys love like good fun action flicks you know this one's pretty decent man it has some great action sequences in there it looks really good really good on 4k and uh i don't know i, I dig it i dig it and it's uh, it says from the writer of john wick so it kind of does have that kind of vibe to it a little bit that one came out today uh as well in stores everywhere but the last one i have i got from moviezing.com and it's a movie i believe that came out back in the, yeah 1997 and it stars greg kinnear and lauren holly and it's a movie called a smile like yours uh you might have saw me unbox this one in the past video and stuff but i just got around to watching it here it also stars john cusack john cusack's um sister and it's about it's about this couple uh played by of course you know greg kinnear and lauren holly and uh greg kinnear plays this architect lauren holly's his wife and she really wants a baby but she can't she she, she can't conceive and you know there's something you know that we have, they're trying to figure out what's going on why they can't have a baby and all this stuff in, in, you know in in this movie and um, it's just them, you know, trying to find out what they have to do and what they need to do to maybe make it happen. And uh, that's, all, that's, all, that's all I can really, that's all I can really do to explain this movie without, you know, ruining everything for you. But uh, I don't know. I found it to be a, a sweet little rom com uh, with, you know, decent comedy elements to it. Uh, I always like the, I always like these movies from like the, you know, the the mid to late '90s, uh, you know, uh, com, you know, rom com movies. They're kind of. You no, know, they're kind of entertaining, like a little, like you know, you lay down, you know, veg out and just watch them, you know, watch it kind of movie. But uh, I always like Greg Kinnear ever since the movie uh, Dear God uh, that came out around this around the same time that recently got a Blu-ray release from MovieZing.com as well. And MovieZing is that website where I have a link for it down below uh, at the very bottom of the description box of all my videos for the most part. And they put out uh, a lot of these different DVDs and Blu-rays that are burn on demand. Like as soon as you order them, you know they they ship it out to you and stuff. You know what I mean? You can't you can't really you know go out there into the stores and get them now and stuff unless you go out and get like the original releases of them or something. But uh, yeah, that's a smile like yours. I enjoyed this one. It was really cool. I mean, you know, really nice. A little sweet sweet little movie. Uh, but that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for the review portion for my hoarding up video today. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys haven't seen it yet, check out the video I made uh, this Sunday going to the swap meet. I made another swap meet madness video. Picked up a really picked up a handful of cool things like never hike alone. Uh, on DVD, found it for a dollar at the swap meet. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do. It's the last video I uploaded on this channel. And uh, yeah, there should be a new video coming up, uh, hopefully this Thursday or Friday. Uh, a new video I made with Aaron, going to some cool little pop-up 
uh, you know, pop-up events uh, in, in and around Hollywood. So stay tuned for that video coming this Thursday or Friday, and I'll catch you guys next time.